Jessie B. Scrapbooking, and I'm back with another process video for Mixed Media Mayhem. Here is the picture we are scrap lifting today because this is the end of the month, so everybody in our Facebook group um, gets to uh, play along. So if you're not part of the group, you might want to check it out. It's pretty cool. Um, you get lots of inspiration on um, this one uh, scrap lift here. Um, this scrap lift is by Ranger Inc. Is who uh, created this one originally. Sandy picked it out for us all to use. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to show you everything I want to use. Um, and this is, you know, mixed media mayhem, but I don't... I mean, I'm going to use ink, and I'm going to use paint splatters. But I'm not doing that whole painting thing in the back. Um, I just don't have time for it to dry and all that. So, I'm cheating a little bit. So I am going to use um, this stamp pad. It's from um, Staples. It works really good. It's a nice, bright, bold black. I did pick out some stencils I want to use. Um, I'm not sure. I'm thinking the numbers, but who knows. And I have a couple more stencils. I don't know if you can see these with all the going on, but it's just an alphabet stencil. And then this one I got at the dollar um, store. Numbers. In word form so you know you have here I'll just say you know three um, four five okay then I have some die cuts that um, cut out on the Cricut um, I have it's a tree a I've had these just in my bin for a long time a uh, cute little, um, oh, these aren't from the Cricut. This one is. These two, um, someone gave me a bag of die cuts, and I don't know where they came from, but I like them. This is a little log cabin, a tree, a ticket. Um, this is what I plan on manning my picture in. I'm thinking this side. Uh, I got some stamps, lots of stamps. I don't know which ones I'm going to use, but I want to use some stamps. Here's my picture. This is a picture of my son, and he had just hung his um, barn door it's a, on the slider for his bathroom up in his house, and that's why I'm using the cabin, because he has an adorable, beautiful cabin that he's working on. And, um, yeah, so I want to use that to document that. This little envelope, just because I thought it was cute. And then here is going to be my background. So, it already has that painted look to it, so I don't have to do all the painting bit, but I plan on um, doing some stenciling, stamping, and paint splatters on top of it. So, let's get going. Okay, so my voice is going. I've had a cold for a week. I feel a lot better, but yeah, the voice um, doesn't work very well. So if I sound funny, that's why. <laughs> All right, so um, I'm good, and I did matte it on that um, brighter red, but then I decided to double matte it and just flipped over, over that red and rematted it. So I have two mats of red, um, one dark, one light, and I like how that looks. It helps it really pop off the background because um, yeah, it is a very busy background. One thing that's nice is that the picture is not very busy. It's all done in the browns and stuff. And so you can still, it doesn't get lost. Yeah. I decided to kind of mark off where the picture will be. And I'm going to get out the number stencil here. And I am just doing random numbers and several different spots here. Um, I'm using this um, makeup brush, the blending brush that I got for Christmas and I love the way it works. It does such a good job. So I'm just putting um, 
it's kind of like I do three numbers and then two numbers and then um, three numbers in a row on this top one. And then down here, I'll just put, I think I just put like five different numbers. Um, yeah. So I'm trying to make it kind of random. There's no point, no, there's no um, real anything about the numbers other than I don't want to use the same numbers over and over. So I'm trying to make sure I use all the numbers. Oh, sorry for yawning. Wow. That's not good about me. Alrighty. I think this is the last numbers I put on. I'm liking how that looks. Um, looking at the picture. Yep. So now I'm going to grab my stamps. And I'm going to stamp the, um, this background stamp. It's a, like a letter. It's written in a different language, so I have no idea what it says. But it don't matter, because I'm just using the middle of it, kind of, just folding over and just kind of placing it down. And um, yeah. And then I grab the circle stamp that had a different um, stamp set, and I stamp it in a couple different spots. And that's all the stamping I do. I like it. I'm kind of um, keeping it pretty um, minimal just because the background is so busy. And then I decided to put the um, die cuts on, but they are too uh, bright. And so I'm just inking the edges a little bit um, in that same black. And it just kind of makes it look a little bit more distressed. And I like the way that looks a lot better, and it matches the um, whole uh, page a lot better. So, I put it in a tree and a log cabin down at the bottom corner, and then I cut the two tickets in half and stick them up in the top corner. I did not uh, ink the tickets because um, they looked fine. Picture all here down, and the other two as well. I'm trying to make sure I don't cover up too much of the stamping, but to make it look like it's part of it. And then I showed you that sticker book real fast there, and I'm taking out some stickers in it. Um, the bottom one I'm going to use this my title. It says Dynamite. The top one is a uh, cassette tape, and so I thought it kind of reminded me of the cassette tape that was in the original. So I put it up on the top there, and it's a lot tinier. And then I have um, two phrases, word phrases, um, from the Tim Holtz uh, word phrases here. I can't remember um, what they say. And I don't have the layout in front of me. And my screen's really tiny, so I can't see it. But I do have close-ups at the end of the phrases. But I think the white one that I'm putting down right now said something about, um, with limitations comes creativity. And then there's another sticker on there. Um, that says something else, but I can't remember. Well, I was looking at the layout, and I decided I wanted... A border all the way around so I am ripping um, just a tiny bit of the paper off all the way around this layout and this is a very thin paper anyway and so I'm just going to um, put it onto a cardstock and um, but the cardstock was just too white so I am going to be inking up the um, cardstock and a very trying to make it messy um blotchy um yeah and so that's what i was doing there and then i decided that the um it needs to blend in together just a little bit 
So I'll ink up the paper here, and then I'm going to do some stamping onto the um, cardstock as well. And I'm going to use that um, background stamp, that lettered or text background stamp. And uh, this time I am going to um, use it on a stamping um, platform or um, block, I mean. And so I'm just kind of doing random bits all around the edges. And it's not like you're going to see a lot of it, but I love the way that the effect is. And here I ran out of the ATG. Oh, I thought I cut that out. Oops. So I guess you get to watch me do the um, ATG real fast. <laughs> So I get that all fixed and um, there we go. I like the way it gives it that border. Reminds me of the um, inspiration piece. And then I just take this, it's like white out tape and I was just kind of playing with it and adding just a little bit more mixed media in the background with it. Um, a couple of little square blocks and I kind of like the way that looks. I add a my splattering with my black watercolor, my shimmery black watercolor. And I got some pretty good sized drops and I got some little bitty drops. And I like the way that looks. And so here are the close-ups. So don't forget to check out everybody else that is playing along. There is a lot bigger list down in the description box this time. And just thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please subscribe. Bye.